here's Wallace with a slip lead. I'm holding him here so that I can make it work. The slip lead's a wonderful thing. Eventually, all that will be a safety net for a trapeze artist. But it's a jolly useful thing to have. You're never going to use it. It's a jolly useful thing to have if you miss the bar and you're heading for the ground. I always say to people, just because... Oh, Wallace, good boy. Just because you've got your dog fully trained doesn't mean that you never put him on a lead. Some people see the lead, the slip lead, as an indication of failure. I see it as an indication of common sense because like the children, once you're out at a later stage on a shoot or on a walk or whatever, if you're busy having a chat with somebody and your mind's somewhere else, your dog knows that immediately and that's off. So if you want to concentrate, you're doing a bit of business or uh, having a social conversation or something, the dog will know when your attention's not on them. So just pop them on the lead and that's everything safe and secure. Good boy. Good boy. Wallace, Wallace, Wallace. Good boy. See when he pulls. Good boy. Oh, Wallace. See when he pulls on it, you don't fight him. Good boy. Good boy. See Wallace, good boy. Come on, Wallace, good boy. Come on, Nick. Good boy. And because he'd never been on it before, you don't want good boy. Come on, Wallace. Good boy. You don't want to tow him along and frighten him. Come on, Nick. Good boy. Good boy. At the moment, all he's doing is getting used to the fact, good boy. Good boy. That he's got the lead on. Not all dogs are like this. Some pups get out there the length of that and they go, right, I'm going to keep pulling. I'm going to keep pulling. I don't know what it is. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Uh, that way you've got to make sure you just hold the lead, give it a sharp tug and let, and then let it go flat and go, good boy, good boy, good lad. See what? Good boy, come on lad. Good boy, come on lad, 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 lad. Good boy. Come on then, good boy. Once he gets used, good boy. Good boy, Wallace. Come on Wallace, good boy. Good boy. Encourage him like mad, good boy. Come on Wallace, there, good boy. Good boy. Come on Wallace, good boy. Good boy. You'll be better. Good little man. See, it doesn't matter which side he is now. As long as he's coming along with us, we've got the lead on. Good boy. Bit of kidology. We've got the lead on, but we're making him good boy. That's it. Good boy, eh? Good boy. So eventually, we'll take, instead of using the body language, the lead will take over a little bit at a time. All dog training is not about pushing the buttons in the right sequence and getting the answer. It's about fathoming it out a little bit today, a little bit more tomorrow, and jam the day after. You're in a jam, aren't you? Now, we wouldn't go on forever and ever at one point for too long because the dog is going to become frightened. So therefore, once we've had, when we, in a moment, we'll have one more little session then I would take the lead off and give him a little play, a little quarter around on the lawn and probably just retrieve that ball once more since he's been long enough to uh, come back to it fresh. And little and often is the answer. Good boy. Good boy, Wallace. Come on, little boy. Good boy, Wallace. Come on, come on, Wallace. Good boy. Yeah, the good boy. Come on, Wallace. Good boy. Yeah, the good boy. Come on, Wallace. Good boy. Come on, Wallace. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Come on, Wallace. Wallace. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. All the time, right from the word go, we are actually setting the foundations. Good boy. We're setting the foundations of my will. It's not thine. It's a, it is a cooperative affair. But when he sits back there and looks at me and says, no, not coming, I go, tug, just a little tug, and then let it go flat. Good boy, come to me. Good boy. I'm saying, this is where you're coming, I've asked. Without having a head on and without saying, oh, bless his little heart, he's frightened, he doesn't want to do this, he doesn't want to do that. He may not, but as we've asked, we're to do the best that we can to ensure that he does, because all the way through with his training, then when you ask him something, he'll go, well, Edward's asked, it's advisable, because he always gets it in the end. Good boy. 
not always, but often as we can. Oh, hey, come on. Good boy, got it. Good boy, get it, Wally. Good boy, hey, good boy. Good boy. Come on, Andy. Hey, Wally. Watch this, hey. Who's frightened? Come on, good boy, Wallace. Come on. What's this? What's this? Good boy. Come on, Wally. Good boy, and yeah, a good boy. Yeah, good boy. Don't want to move. Wonder whether you'll move to this. Good boy. Good boy, there, yeah, that good boy. Good boy, come on. Good boy. Good boy. Lovely, isn't it, eh? That's about one in a thousand will hold that ball up like that. And if they will, I'm encouraging it like mad. That is something that I want to do. I want him to hold it up like that. So therefore, right from this early stage when he knows nothing other than the cradle, I'm trying to say to you, you're a good boy. Well done. You know, like the grandparents do to the grandchildren. Clever boy, clever girl. And all they've done is breathe. Good boy. Come on in. 